What's up guys, main man Sui here and welcome to Horang's 8 minute guide. Horang is a very pressure oriented character and very unique in doing so and he's also surprisingly all round. So he has an enormous move list of Taekwondo attacks and he has a multitude of stances and playing Horang is basically doing one attack, chaining into another and going from stance to stance to stance. So neutral stance, left foot forward, press 3 plus 4 to motion switch, right foot forward, forward 4, hold forward, he holds up his right leg, right flamingo stance, motion switch again, left flamingo stance. All four of these have unique attacks, so there's a, it's complicated, there's a lot to take in for a Hoarang player, but much more so for the victim of a Hoarang player. So let's do an experiment, I'm gonna tap forward 4, 2, forward 3, 1. This was me going through four different stances in pretty much one second. Isn't that pretty interesting? So that's how we play Horang. So again, I'm in neutral, right flamingo stance, right foot forward, left flamingo stance, back to neutral, left foot forward. And that's how we do it. So then it's up to you to create flow charts. U utilizing all of these moves you find in the move list. You can create your own dance of death. Going from move A to B to D to Z, you know, and going through all of these different stances and it, it, it all just merges together into a tornado of death. And basically your opponent is just there guarding because let me tell you, the frames are pretty good. Note that Geese is blocking. You see these frames? That's on block. If this hits, <coughs> Plus 15. And the jab. Plus 5 there. The jab. Plus 5. You see, this is a classic setup. You do this flamingo jab, the one here, but on block is plus 5, and then you do forward 1 plus, uh, plus 2. It's a safe mid countered launcher that comes out at 15 frames. So if they try and do anything after that jab, they, they get counter hit, or if they jab, they trade. You, you get a counter hit launcher anyway. Um, so disgusting frames, disgusting pressure, disgusting amount of options for your opponent to try and keep, uh, keep track of. They, they get overwhelmed so easily by this. Um, so really, it's up to you to create your flowcharts here and know that from left flamingo stance, 4 2 plus 3 is a throw. In case we're just blocking all the time, those blo measly block spammers. And from right flamingo stance, you have a really cool 50 50 in down 4 3. Uh, or you can do back 3, which is a huge mid launcher, but it's only minus 10 on block. And I also love uh, right, uh, right flamingo stance, down 4 4. It's plus 8 on hit, but on block, it's plus 1. It's quite rare for a mid there. It's super good. I believe it's also counter it launches. Yeah, uh, just a fantastic option. So again, just overwhelm the opponent. You do have access to some disgusting lows to try and mix it up. Uh, like down, down free four is always there, there if you need it. Not from right flamingo stance, but uh, all the other stances, you, you can do that. And again, the hell sweep there from right flamingo stance is great. Right flamingo stance back two is insane on block. Um, yeah, we're gonna talk more about some options soon. But uh, the, the great initiators are of course down free four, you've seen this. Natural combo, uh, low high uh, into flamingo bullshit. One, two into flamingo, plus 11 on hit into flamingo if it's, it, yeah. Standing two into Flamingo, down forward one three into Flamingo, uh, up, four, up four, sorry, into Flamingo, plus three on block. It's just, it's, those are your great initiators of the Dance of Death. Uh, and if they try to uh, interrupt you, you have a homing uh, power crush from both Flamingo stances by tapping. Uh, if I'm in right flamingo stance, it's back four. If I'm in left flamingo stance, it's back three. Homing, power crush, very fast, super good. Um, and the defensive capabilities, he has a surprisingly strong down for two. Keep away, spam down for two, just like you're playing Paul. You have nowhere, nowhere close his range, but it's still surprisingly good. 
if a whiff and attack, back three is one of the best whiff punishers in the game, in my opinion. Comes out at 16 frames. Backlash is the best power crush in the game. Uh, I would say so. Uh, again, most of you, all of your great moves are locked behind stances. So you have to find ways to go into the stances. You can do a simple motion switch. You can press forward two and then do it. It's up to you. Be creative. Uh, this power crush is plus four on block. It has four active frames, recovers immediately on whip, uh, launches for a one million damage. It's just super, super good. Uh, he has an orbital, should you need that. And back one, uh, a teleport move. You get behind their back pretty much immediately. Super good panic button. Evades pretty much anything, except for a homing move, of course. Uh, just frame skyrocket uh, is a... Is of course a just frame, but you have to learn how to do this. Uh, One million damage, completely safe these days on block. Super spammable. Um, four, 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 peacemaker or peacekeeper, I think it's called. Uh, super good from a neutral, infinite range. Infinite range. It's so good and knocks down. Safe, big pushback, sets up backlash. Uh, super good. If you want to poke, Damak 3 is really good. Uh, love that low poke, uh, evades a lot. Sidestep 4, low counter it launcher, that's plus 5 on hit. Minus 13 on block, I believe. Uh, whatever, can't get him to block. I think it's minus 13. It's so slow. Oh, it is minus 14. Thank you. And then downward one, of course, is decent. Can do downward one free. Good shit. Uh, complete throw game. That's a two break. One break. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, no, wait. That's a one plus two break. This is a two break. There we go. Uh, and yeah, and he has insane Oki as well. Back free. It always hits grounded. It's really good. You can do jump over tech to catch people in the rear, catch them from behind in the shower, and do disgusting stuff. Uh, and punishment, 10 frame, 1, 2, flamingo, 11 frame, 4 free, or, or 4 free, flamingo, in council like this. Um, uh, and uh, 13 frame down for 1, 3, 15 frame down for 2, 16 frame back 3. Uh, and while standing, while standing 4-4 four, four at 11. Uh, 14 frames while standing 3 into back 3. And then you have uh, up back 3-3 three, three for 16 frames and delayed hop kick for big sweeps. Uh, and that's Huarang, that's Huarang. So how do we counter him? Uh, is he predictable with down 3-4? Duck the high, a lot of people are. Uh, duck the obvious highs and uh, counter him. Uh, Flamingo overall is very weak to sidestepping, so try sidewalking is a good idea. Keep your guard up, don't duck, um, he's much scarier with the mids. Uh, back one, if he spams that, it's minus 14. Back three, remember, minus 19. A lot of Horang players are very, very lazy with these two, punish them. Uh, don't try to punish Backlash, if you, if you really want to, try to do a quick punish. Don't go for the launch punish, it's just so safe. And he's very weak. Spam sweeps. His while standing punish is kind of weak. Uh, most people just opt for this. And this sucks. So, uh, bi spam big sweeps. Thanks for watching my video. Take care.